trying to make sure that the 99% okay, can hear us. So give them a round of applause. All right. Now here's the deal. Now those camera folks, now those camera folks, they're working folk. And what we need to be able to do to make sure they can do their job and hit this stage, all y'all who are between us and them with your signs, shake them in front of your chest. <laughs> Not up here, because then your working folk behind you can't do their job. So, now if you're over there, signs up. You're over here, signs up. You're over here, signs, signs, signs up. <laughs> All right, that's how we're gonna do this. Now, we're gonna move on. What we wanna be able to do now, we've heard from our great champions, our good, great progressive leaders, uh, Representative Grijalva and, and Keith Ellison, our, our uh, heads of the Progressive Caucus. We all know Sheila Jackson Lee is a huge champion. But now we're going to hear from the people. All right. Regular folks. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 the true grassroots hero I'm going to bring to the stage Linda Evans, <laughs> Isaac Jallett, and Sean Wygant. Give them a round of applause. Hi, my name is Sean Wygant. I came from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. At one time, Pittsburgh was known as the Steel City. But now, since the steel industry has died in America, we are now known as the Jamba City. We have one of the highest. Uh, we have one of the highest unemployment rates in Pennsylvania. You know, uh, one of the bridges right here, I walk past this bridge every day. You know, we need jobs now. I can take a job fixing that bridge right now. If they call me right now, on my phone, I will leave this stage and go fix that bridge. I cannot buy my insulin. I cannot buy my insulin because I need to put food on my table and I need to keep my utilities on. Okay? 
we're here to stand with you. We need to join together. We need to let the people that are supposed to be representing us that whoever makes the first move on this jobs situation will get our votes in 2012. Hello, my name is Linda Evans and I am a home health care book provider by trade. And I am tired of being sick and tired of being unemployed. For three years, I've been looking for a job. And all I get is, we'll call you. I've heard that so much yeah. that I'm beginning to believe that's my middle name. Yeah. I come from a proud family. I'm a proud woman. My grandfather used to own his own barbershop right down the street on Capitol Hill. My mother was a nurse and worked at the home for the incurables. My family owned their own homes. They instilled in me good work ethics and the love for the arts. So for the last three years, I decided to help create a youth program in my community, taking care of the at-risk youth. Because I saw a youth take his last breath. I saw him die in front of me. That's okay. Take it I want to make a difference. Yeah. You are making a difference. 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 You are making for us. We're the ones that put you in office. Yeah. Fight for us. How can you sleep at night knowing that youth are selling drugs just to make money? That's right. How can you sleep at night knowing that people in the District of Columbia are going hungry and living at a poverty level? Make wholesome decisions, Congress. And a wholesome decision is creating programs for our elders. A wholesome decision is creating good jobs for people that put you in office. We relied on you. Save our babies.